Hi everyone, Ms. Patsy here at Castile Innovation Lab. Today we will be studying the fifth grade science book, Mixtures and Solutions, Investigation 1, Separating Mixtures, Part 1, Making and Separating Mixtures. Question, how can a mixture be separated? Let's find out. For today's investigation, we will be using gravel, salt, diatomaceous earth, water, cups, a funnel, filter papers, a screen, stir sticks, and our mixtures and separations data sheets. So let's get started. First, let's look at the properties of our solids. Let's start with gravel. Gravel is a natural rock material found in rivers and streams. Note the color, the texture, the particle shapes, and the particle size. Next, we will be looking at diatomaceous earth, or our powder. Diatomaceous earth is made up of shells of tiny aquatic organisms called diatoms. Diatomaceous earth is used in filters to remove heavy metals from water. Notice the color, the texture, the particle shapes, and the particle size. This is kosher salt or sodium chloride, which is used to season food. Notice the color, the texture, the particle shape, and the particle size. So how would you describe the color of the gravel? I saw black, brown, and cream colored rocks. How about the texture? Hard, coarse, rocky. How about the shape? The shapes were varied. little rounded. How about the particle size? Now compared to the powder and the salt, I would call the par particle size large. Next, let's look at our powder. What color was our powder? white, texture was fine, particle shape, um, it was too small to see, particle size, tiny. Next, how about the salt? The color was white. The texture was coarse, not as fine as the powder. Particle shape, almost tiny squares. How about the particle size? Not as tiny as the powder and not as large as the gravel, but it was still small. Next, we will take one scoopful of each solid and put it in our cups.
What do you think will happen if I add water to each cup of dry materials? When you put two or more materials together, you make a mixture. So I have made three mixtures, gravel and water, salt and water, and diatomaceous earth and water. We make mixtures at home all the time. If you had cereal and milk this morning for breakfast, you made a mixture. If you like chocolate milk, you made a mixture. So let's look at our mixtures. What do you observe happened in the mixture of gravel and water? What do you observe in the mixture of salt and water? And what do you observe in the mixture of powder and water? Let's write down our observations on our data sheet. So what did you observe in our cup of gravel and water? No change in the gravel. How about the cup with powder and water? Cloudy mixture. How about the mixture of salt and water? Salt disappeared. Now that we've made our mixtures, how can we separate them? First, let's try using a screen. try separating our gravel mixture. That was successful from separating the gravel from the water. Next, let's try separating the water and the powder. that was not successful in separating the water from the powder. Next, let's try separating the water and the salt. That too was not successful in separating the water from the salt. Next, let's try using a funnel and a filter. that was successful in separating the gravel from the water. Next, let's try separating the powder and the water using a filter.
you can see that the cloudy water went in and only the clear water is coming out. And you can see the powder collecting in the filter. So that was successful in separating our powder from the water. Next, let's try separating the salt from the water. There's nothing collected in the filter. So that was not successful in separating the salt from the water. So let's look at our data sheet. What was successful in separating our mixtures? For the gravel, was the screen successful in separating our mixture? Yes. Was the filter paper successful in separating our mixture? Yes. How about for the powder? Was the screen successful in separating our, our powder mixture? No. Was the filter paper successful at separating our mixture? Yes. How about for the salt? Was the screen successful at separating our mixture? No. How about the filter paper? Was that successful at separating our mixture? No. So let's discuss the results from our investigation. We were able to separate the gravel from the water by using a screen because the holes in the screen were small enough to stop the gravel, but not small enough to stop the powder or the salt. The filter paper was able to separate the powder from the water, but not the salt. We were not successful in separating the salt from the water by using the screen or the filter paper because the salt dissolved into the water, so it cannot be separated by a screen or a filter. We will be learning how to separate salt in our next investigation. Until then, have a great day.